from him, but I saw somebody, you know, on TikTok commenting how already Tabel has been bullied. Um, and people are bullying him, are body shaming him, and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'll be damned if I keep quiet and not say anything about it. And also, not saying anything so that Tabel knows that some, there are people who, who've got his back and who are supporting him and who love him. And not everybody's going to love him. You must know that. But if we can have a way of not allowing or doing something about bullies, I'm going to be a part of that. So, they are positioning him, they are telling him that he's gay and blah blah blah, that he's hiding his sexuality and nyara 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 nyara. And that's not cool. It's not cool at all. It's fucked up, actually. It is fucked up. Not everybody is like me who honestly I don't give a shit about what is said to, about me. I've got a very thick skin. I guess it, it goes with experience. But the person who's studying in the business, um, it's going to be very tough for them uh, to, to understand that there are vile people out there. Not everybody is vile. There are people who support him and there are people who love him. That is why he won. And he did that to win. You know? Um, but we cannot sit down and go, ah, he must they understand that's the nature of the business. No. No, 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 no. But again, I want to I want to also speak to, to the gay community. The LGBTXXDHGHOPR community. The reason why we get bullied, the reason why it's the reason why being a homosexual is made to, to feel like it's, 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 it's a downgrade, it's a downfall, it's, it's, it's disgusting. It's because we contribute to such homophobia. Gay people are the ones, like I know for a fact, and I've been a, that person as well, are the ones that would look at a person like Tapelo and go, we are fisher, okay? As if being exposed to the gay is something to go, yeah, yeah, okay, hey, my stone, you know, good Us, the LGBTQ plus community, are the ones that also condone such shit, such nonsense. We are homophobic within ourselves. It's like black people who hate other black people or black people who oppress other black people. It's the same thing in the gay community. We are the ones that also perpetuate those stereotypes of saying uh, people must hide themselves and if they, we will out them. And if you out them, it's a celebration. That, that's fucked up mentality that should end. That is the fucked up mentality that should end. And that is the fucked up mentality that makes set people to be scared to be themselves if they want to be themselves, if they want to come out, that's because it's, it's a huge hoo-ha. So and so, she has some soda. It, it's, it, it's, but it, it's not a joke, what I mean. It, it's, it's, there's a, a, a homophobic connotation to it. When a guy is showing his feminine side and he's straight, there's nothing wrong with it. There are people like that who are soft and feminine and they're comfortable within themselves. And it's not up to you to decide which they must come out. It's not up to you to decide who to, they must, you must out them. Who the F are you? Who made you God to, 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 to be out people? You're wasting time in your life by being concerned about anybody's sexuality. Like there's so many people who spend themselves so like to gay. Unani. And I'm not even talking about straight people saying those things. I'm talking about the gay community. That shit must stop. That nonsense must stop. You, you are making it like to be you or who you are is, is something to be embarrassed about. Sis my life fuck.
Ni ati la it must stop. It must stop. Like it it, it like look at yourself in the mirror and say to my the person that I'm mocking or the person or the the sexuality that I'm mocking is who I am. So what does it say about you? You're not happy then with who you are. It's like somebody, a black person laughing at another black person or or saying, yeah, or nyama, when you talk, the colorism and shit like that, at the end of the day, we're all black. We will go through the same steps as a black person. Anyway, there was, if there's a country that has, has racism, as a black person, you will go through that regardless of how long your hair is or how bright your skin is. It is very sad indeed. It is very, very, very sad. But no to bullying the Chapelo. I ain't from there. Chapelo must enjoy his reign, must enjoy, must strive, must shine. And we don't give a hoot, Tina, who he sleeps with. It's not our business. Until we are asked what we don't know. What we know is a guy who has a child and he's living his life and he must enjoy it. So Chapelo, please, not about way, ladies and gentlemen, to steal your, your joy. They come from a bitter place and a hurt place. Hurt people, hurt people. Yes, you are correct. There's no way if you are content with yourself, you have time to ridicule somebody else. And body shame somebody else. This man, I fuck my nyanyanisa. As if you're perfect, look at yourself in the mirror, and, and if you're perfect, please show it to us, then we'll give you the right to mock other people. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care how famous you are. Nobody is perfect. Until there's a perfect person, then that person has the right to cast the first stone. Until then, fall off, sit in your corner.